Hello and welcome to the channel where we show biographies of some of the most interesting people in the world of sport and popular culture. In today's video we dive into the murky world of Hansi Kronje who is perhaps one of the most controversial people in the history of cricket. Kronje was one of the most successful and admired cricketers in the world, particularly during the 1990s when he was at the peak of his career. He had an impressive record as a batsman, a bowler, and a captain, leading the South African team to some of its most famous victories. Kronje was born in Bloemfontein, South Africa, in 1969. He grew up in a sporting family, with both his father and grandfather having played cricket at a high level. He attended Gray College, a prestigious private school in Bloemfontein, where he developed his skills as a cricketer. Kronje made his international debut for South Africa in 1992, during the team's first series after the end of apartheid. He quickly established himself as one of the team's most talented players, and he soon became the captain of the side. As a captain, Kronje was known for his tactical acumen and his ability to inspire his team. He led South Africa to a number of famous victories, including a 5-0 whitewash of England in a test series in 1999. He was also an excellent batsman, scoring 3,714 runs in test cricket at an average of 36.41, and he also took 43 wickets with his medium pace bowling. Kronje was widely regarded as one of the best cricketers in the world, but his legacy was forever tarnished when he was caught up in a bookmaker scandal in 2000. He was accused of accepting bribes from Indian bookmakers to influence the outcome of matches, a charge that he initially denied. However, as the scandal began to unfold, it became clear that Kronje had indeed been involved in corrupt activities. He was banned from cricket for life, and his reputation was left in tatters. The scandal had a profound impact on the game of cricket, and many fans and players lost faith in the integrity of the sport. Kronje's involvement in the scandal was first uncovered when Delhi police intercepted a telephone conversation between him and an Indian bookmaker named Sanjeev Chawla. The two men discussed fixing the result of a one-day international match between South Africa and India. Kronje agreed to throw the match in exchange for $10,000. Herschel Gibbs and Henry Williams were two of Kronje's teammates who were also implicated in the bookmaker scandal. Gibbs and Williams were accused of accepting money from Kronje to underperform in a one-day international match against India in 2000. Many believed that Kronje used his power and influence over both players to coerce them into taking part in the match-fixing. Both were believed to look up to their captain and although there was a financial incentive they also wanted to please him directly. According to reports, Gibbs was offered $15,000 by Kronje to score fewer than 20 runs in the match. Williams was offered a similar amount to concede more than 50 runs in his 10 overs. Both players initially denied any involvement in the scandal, but they later admitted to their roles in the match-fixing scheme. Gibbs and Williams were both banned from cricket for six months and fined. The scandal had a profound impact on their careers, with both players struggling to regain the trust of fans and teammates. Gibbs, in particular, was widely criticized for his role in the scandal and he became a target for opposition fans. The scandal also had a wider impact on South African cricket, with the team struggling to rebuild its reputation in the aftermath. The South African Cricket Board SACB, was heavily criticized for its handling of the scandal, and many fans and players lost faith in the integrity of the sport. In the years since the scandal, both Gibbs and Williams have spoken publicly about their involvement in the match-fixing scheme. Gibbs has expressed regret for his actions, and he has spoken out about the toll that the scandal took on his mental health. Williams, too, has apologized for his role in the scandal, and he has said that he regrets his actions. The fallout from the scandal was significant, with the International Cricket Council ICC, introducing tougher penalties for players involved in corrupt practices. The reputation of cricket as a sport was badly damaged, and it took several years for the game to recover. The bookmaker who was at the center of the match-fixing scandal, Sanjay Chawla, fled from India after the story broke out in 2000. He was on the run for many years and was the subject of a global manhunt by law enforcement agencies. In 2013, Chawla was arrested in London at the request of the Indian authorities, who sought his extradition to face charges of match-fixing in the Kronje scandal. Chawla fought the extradition for many years, but in 2020, a UK court finally cleared the way for his extradition to India. In January 2021, Chawla was extradited to India to face trial for his role in the scandal. He was charged with criminal conspiracy, cheating, and corruption, and he faced a potential prison sentence of up to seven years if convicted. Kronje's involvement in the scandal also had a devastating effect on his personal life. 
he was stripped of his captaincy and his reputation was left in tatters. He became a pariah in the cricketing world and struggled to find work after being banned from the sport. Cronje's death in a plane crash on June 1, 2002, at the age of 32 was a tragic end to his life. He was on his way to meet representatives of an Indian company that was interested in sponsoring a new cricket tournament in South Africa. Cronje left behind his wife, Bertha, and two young daughters. In the years since his death, Cronje's legacy has been the subject of much debate. Some people believe that he was unfairly punished for his involvement in the scandal, while others argue that he was rightly banned for life. Regardless of one's opinion, it is clear that Cronje's actions had a profound impact on the world of cricket and its relationship with gambling. Thank you for watching, be sure to comment with any other biographies you would like to see.